So when it comes to tuning your BMW engine, there's lots of options out there. So the two routes most people go with is a flash map, a remap or a tune directly on the DME. And the other option is a piggyback tune, which interfaces between the DME and the electronics in the engine to make adjustments to whatever settings are going out. So which is right for you? Well, in this video, we're just going to look at the BM3, the boot mode or the boot mod three, as some people like to call it, and the Berger Motorsports JB4. They're very similar in terms of what they do. They adjust the power output of the car, but the way they go about doing this is very, very different. And the question is, which is right for you? They're both very good products. They both have a good following and I've heard so much positive feedback about both those devices, but which one should you go for? Which is right for you and your project? So the two units do quite a lot to enhance the power of your car, but they're suitable for very different people with very different aspirations. So first we'll talk about the boot mode or boot mod three, if you want. This is effectively a complete remap or a complete tune. You can change all of the parameters in the engine. So you will connect your computer to the diagnostic port on the car. You will download flash tunes or flash maps and upload them to the car. So you can do a lot with these, but it's a lot more complex. The nice thing that this has is data logging. So you can actually see what's going on in the engine and you can use that information to just extract more power to see where the flat spots are or where the weak areas are in the tune. So these are suitable for people that are wanting more adventurous power gains. Those people that have done lots of extra mods to their car and just want to get the maximum power from it. It's also helpful if you want to switch to a, a different ethanol content fuel, you can make adjustments within that for this. But it's more expensive, it's requiring a bit more specialist knowledge and there's a bit more scope for things to go wrong if you push things too aggressively. The JB4, however, is effectively a piggyback unit. It plugs into your car through the diagnostic port, the OBD2 port, but it also has connections to various sensors inside the engine. So it's very simple to set up and plug in. It typically takes about 30 minutes. You just need a screwdriver and some basic skills. If you can unplug and plug in a cable, you can pretty much fit one of these quite easily. And this effectively has off the shelf tune options for your car. There's quite a lot of different options available within the unit. And it can also, if you get the module, connect it to your mobile phone through Bluetooth, pretty much as you're ready to drive the car and you get into it. So this is a very low hassle approach. It's low risk. It costs less money. So this is probably the option for most people that just have the standard mods that everyone else is doing, the induction kit, the exhaust mods, the basic set of power upgrades that you might add. But if you're going for more adventurous mods, then this probably isn't the device for you. Although it is quite flexible, you can achieve a lot with that. So buying the boot mode is a bit like buying a Ferrari and only ever driving at 30 miles an hour around town. You've got so much excess potential in there that you're just not using. However, the JB4 is really cost effective. It's much cheaper. You can elevate the performance of your BMW engine very easily using that. For someone with no skills, it's about 30 minutes to actually fit that device to your car and get it running. Whereas the, the boot mode requires a little bit more work. You need to download the maps. You need to choose the maps carefully. You might even work with someone who can go better than those off the shelf tunes and create something completely custom or bespoke for your engine. Now, bear in mind that all engines are different. You've done different mods to your car than someone else down the street, but also your car is at a different age, a different mileage, and the power output or the way the power is output is somewhat different from another model from even the same year. There's a lot of variation when it comes to setting up the DME from BMW. So they've gone with a very safe generic option that works well on all the different cars and all the different models and copes well with age and mileage. Whereas with something like the boot mode, you can adjust it and fine tune it to ring out the maximum amount of performance from your car. So they're two very different devices, suitable for very different people. But there's lots of other devices out there that do similar things to these two. So please let me know in the comments what your experiences have been with these. And depending on what your long-term plan is, should really have a bearing on what you actually decide. So I just hope this video has given you an overview into the options for tuning your DME. And I've lined this video up for you that you should find really interesting. Please boot the like button. That really does help us to get out there. And if 
you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'd hate you to miss out on all the great BMW advice and tuning videos that we've got coming up in the near future. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.